for the dragon. So when I'm reading A Song of Ice and Fire or watching Game of Thrones, I do that very much from the perspective of someone in that world. My personal morals and values in 2022 tend to not factor in that much when I'm engaging with fiction. That doesn't mean that my opinions on A Song of Ice and Fire are reflective of my real world opinions. And the reason I'm sort of struggling to get on side with Rhaenyra is because her behaviour as a woman is dangerous in that environment. If I were a woman in Westeros hearing about the shit that Rhaenyra was doing, I would be panicking, wondering what kind of restrictions my father, husband or brother would be thinking about imposing on me to prevent me from behaving like that. So while I absolutely acknowledge that Alison behaves like an idiot, she's the one playing the game properly. The way that she's expected to play it by all the powerhouses who have the real control. Oh, it's very anti-feminist, but that's how you survive in that world. So when I'm watching Rhaenyra flaunt her bastards at court and proclaim them as her heirs, that is going to piss a lot of people off. Now, you have to remember, in the show, young Alison was very supportive of Rhaenyra at first. But Rhaenyra's reckless behaviour is a huge red flag for Alison. When she has Otto breathing down her neck, telling her that Rhaenyra will remove any threat to her rule, that threat being Alicent's children, well, Alicent has no reason to believe that Rhaenyra won't do that. And as we see with tonight's episode, the small council share the same opinion. Now, I fully blame Viserys for this. He should have coached his daughter to be the ruler that the realm needed, and there should have been consequences for her actions. Because if Rhaenyra could establish herself as a serious contender, who was sensible and took her duty seriously, well, then there would be no reason for the Greens to want to usurp her. Their fears would be completely unfounded. However, from what we've seen of Rhaenyra so far, I don't really think their concerns are that unreasonable. But what we do need to remember, literally every character is an arsehole. 